outside the major cities, most people in Malawi struggle for electricity. State-owned supplier ESCOM is meeting little more than a quarter of the current demand, and even that output is fragile. One big problem is the source of Malawi's power. Over 95% of Malawi's electricity is generated from hydro, with the Shira River as the main source of hydroelectricity. The answer, according to the government, is liberalization. The government now has decided to diversify from hydro to other sources of energy using other technologies. We're now looking at coal, that I've already explained, also looking at solar. You see if other companies can come and exploit the solar. We're also looking at a wide range of other technologies that are available out there to make sure that we generate electricity. And to make this possible, the government has liberalized the energy sector. It says there are plenty of private partners interested in supplying power. One project involves China. It's to produce around 300 megawatts for a new coal-fired station. ESCOM's generating operations are to be split off into a separate company. This will compete alongside new private suppliers to sell power to ESCOM, which will be recreated as a distributor. Countries such as Britain adopted a similar strategy years ago with mixed results. The government's target is to generate around a thousand megawatts. That's almost three times current capacity and more than enough for business and consumers. The plan's certainly ambitious and funding is likely to be a big obstacle. But if the revamp does pay off, Malawi will have found a solution to a problem that much of Africa is grappling with. Sonny Methu, CGTN, Malawi.